and Shea Bear 1000 here again. So today I got, all right, tonight I got a couple things here I want to go through that I bought a while back and I actually forgot I had this stuff. So we're going to go through it and I thought I'd bring it along with me so we can check this stuff out together. And this is one of them. It's a camera bag full of stuff. So let's go ahead and let's open this up. And let's check it out and see what's inside it. Okay guys, so this is a, there's a camera bag. There's a bunch of stuff inside here. I'm not even sure what's in here. I, I remember a couple things, but that's about it. I got this at the last time, I think it was the last time that we set up to sell, which was a while back uh, the end of last year sometime so I bought this and I thought well the bag you know it had a bunch of stuff in it and I thought well the bags were something I asked the old lady I said what well, you got on this bag of stuff here and she said well she said do you think a dollar's too much just even for the bag and I said no I don't I said I think that's that's fine so I believe I gave a dollar for this and then she ended up and bought something back off of me and then ended up buying a few more things off of us, so she didn't make any money. But, so let's go ahead and open this bag up here. Like I said, it is a camera bag. Uh, it's an older one, but I thought, you know, a bag, I can keep junk in it, you know, because I've got so much camera stuff, camera equipment. Popular photography. So, let's open this up. These are a couple things I remember. This thing here is a Sony AV cordless IR receiver. It's the IFT-R10. So what this would be is your old Sony camcorders. Um, some of them you could use wirelessly. What you would do, instead of plugging your camera into your TV, you would plug this into your TV. There's your, your port for your uh, plug-in. And then you plug these into your TV and then your camera and it would work up to 16 feet and then so you can play your camera your footage off your camera onto the TV with you know so you could you know like sit back on the couch and push play and record and everything on your camera while you're holding your camera and this is that's what this is for so that's pretty cool I will never use it probably but this was pretty neat it's missing the battery cover but I had to actually look this up and what this is this is a word processor for the old VHS tapes you know before we had video editing software and all that for those big you know shoulder cameras you held on your shoulder and stuff what you could do is you would put your batteries in there you would plug this into your camera and you could create titles and you know um, closed caption and stuff with this so it's like a word processor. You, you can do everything right there through the camera. So you even got a mount where you would mount it onto your camera and you know. So I thought that was pretty cool. And um, you can still buy these new old stock. So these are like, I was looking these up and they're like 50, 60 bucks. Okay, so let's see. We got this is a eight millimeter cassette. Um, it's the cleaning cassette for an eight millimeter um, camera. It was new, I opened it up. And this is eight millimeter, <coughs> excuse me, handy cam, handy guide, handy cam, camcorder shooting tips, video, video accessories introduction so that's pretty cool so someone had apparently had a big old i wish she would have had the camera because here this look at this look at this battery look at this thing guys i mean i, don't, I thought i had a camera up here but i don't but anyway look how big this thing is <laughs> look at that thing man and Another battery, RCA. Let's see, 
This is the charger. Look at that. I've got several of these big ass chargers, man. Um, <laughs> and it would charge it. I wonder if these batteries are any. I doubt it. Let's see, this is like this is an aftermarket one. It was a lot bigger, so it would last you a lot longer. But yeah, pretty cool. So that's in here. I don't know what that is. That's for the case, probably. Oh, Hitachi. Another one in batteries. This is part, this is a viewfinder for a big old camera. There's the mic. It would have one of those foam socks on it. So this is uh this is pretty cool. It would slide out off, like I said, those old ones you, you had on your shoulder, man. This is a power bank Sony 6 volt I'll bet you I remember seeing pictures of this thing there it is and I'll bet you this thing still works so there's your power bank for that yep so what else we got in here there's a a strap this it's this is Sony on it, so this is a strap for a camera. There's another strap for a camera, and this would be your cover, your lens cover. And oh, wait a minute! Oh, check this out. Another sunbeam. I'll bet you they were in here, but needs a little clean in there. But I can clean that up, and we'll see if it works. Because I got a camera I can hook this up to and check. I'll bet you this this is a piece of a rubber band. So it does have the uh, does have the cover for it. So I could probably sell that for a couple bucks. And then we've got. The rubber bands here that used to hold these together apparently huh cords I always love cords guys don't throw the stuff away and that's about it so that's pretty cool all this stuff um, there's no doubt this probably still works this charger Oh, and this would be, you would uh, plug this onto the back of your camera and then you could put your battery on and you could plug it in and use your camera while your batteries were charging. So, it's so pretty cool. I mean, we may check this thing out and see if it works, you know. Maybe this too. I don't know if I've got a Sony... I don't know if I got, I've got many of Sony camcorders, but I don't know if I got one that's set up for this or not. So anyway, that's pretty cool. So, but we'll check this out together. All right. Yeah, you used to be able to take these off. And there was your external mic for, you know, handheld mics or whatever. I do have a camera I know. See, it's got one of these that has this type of an end on it. So, I forget what that's called. But. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Now I'm gonna move this out of the way. Then we'll get to something else I forgot I had that I did an initial video on. And I think I tried it out, if I remember right, I think Maybe it wouldn't get power something. I don't know. But we'll check it out. I figure, what the heck, because I, I haven't touched it since then. I found 
two cameras today. One, I still don't know where I got it. I don't know where it came from. I'm sure if it's camera, it's in one of my videos. Um, yeah, I, I forgot I even had it. Um, it don't even look familiar to me. Um, this one I know I had, but so let's bring this over here. Let's check it out. Now I'm almost positive that I did did get this out and check it out once when I got it, if I remember right. Cambridge, that's my hometown. But that's not where this is from, I'm sure, but I am from a town, Cambridge, Ohio. And this is a There's um, one of them cleaners too. Um, eight millimeter. All these, I'd love to know what's on these, so I'd love to get some working. Got one of these. It's awful short. Oh, another one. And so. There it is. So you would plug this into the plug this into the camera, and then it looks like you would plug this in either to the back of your TV or computer. It looks like a computer cable. So let's go ahead and put these in here before I get them all messed up. And that that tape that Daniel sent me today, um, <coughs> I have. Uh, I have a tape that size and so I'm probably going to just buy a camera that'll that'll take that takes those tapes it's the mini DV because I have a tape somewhere around here uh, when I went into the water and ruined a good camera I had so <laughs> I can't wait to see that footage okay so this thing see I don't I don't remember much about it I do remember having one of these, but for, I, I think it, it wasn't getting power. And this is a Sony. This is video eight, eight millimeter. And it's got, it's got all the books and paperwork with it. This is interesting. It's got a fuse. So maybe that's why it's not getting power. I don't know. Like I said, I did an initial check on it, and it didn't, uh, if I'm remembering right, it didn't have power. Or wasn't getting power or something. Let's see. And that's the, uh, that's that. So it's got all the original paperwork with it. People still buy this stuff. And here, some. there's a battery charger. Where do you plug it in at? It's a charger, but I don't see a plug where you would plug it into charging. So I don't know. So we're going to check this out. It's got one of these things in there. That's alcohol. That was, there used to be alcohol in these things. That's, that was a wet um, cleaner tape cleaner or head cleaner for you okay so any more pockets in here wait there's a pocket I have anything in it yeah another tape this is a short one metal particle tape remember the cassette tapes you used to play and jam out and you make mixed tapes and you always wanted the metal heavy metal man uh, but that one's that don't have a lot on it, so that must be a short tape 15 minute probably Okay, so there's another one of them Okay, so All right I'm Just looking for any more hidden compartments. Okay, let's move this out of the way here So this is that camera and I'm pretty sure that I tried it and wasn't getting power. This sat in an old, uh, I, 
got this out of an old house or garage or something that a guy the place is all torn down now see this is similar to that one I just showed you uh, see there's part of the mic this is the viewfinder so this viewfinder <clears throat> looks like yeah see this viewfinder could come off and I'll bet you that other viewfinder I had I'll bet you it would fit on here but it had a different plug didn't it yeah so but anyway I'm going to check this out and I'm going to look it over might do some researching on it but let's get all this taken out of here and then un unscrambled I'm guessing this is a battery pack but I still don't understand oh so you would put the charger okay so you put your charger in here and then you put your battery in there and plug it in so but I don't know if there's a way I can just plug it into that or not. Let me get all this stuff here. See, this, this is all AV cables. Look. So, uh, so anyway, usually, like, you can leave something set, like her dad's video camera, that 8mm. Um, when we brought it here after he passed away, I checked it out and it worked fine. And like 10 minutes later, just became a black screen it just kept getting dimmer and dimmer it still records uh but it only records audio so i think there's something wrong with the what is the ccd in it or something so okay so let me look this up i forget even where the battery goes or anything like that but it, oh and it's got a tape in it too so this should be interesting if we can get it working Okay, so let me check it out, and then we'll come back and we'll check this thing out. Okay, so I'm remember now, the battery goes in the front of here. Now I'm thinking this battery charger, I think you could put directly in there and plug it in. So let's do that. I'm glad I put that plug in there. So there's that. There's standby, there's lock, start, stop. That's standby. This is supposed to eject your tape back here. It's doing something. But it didn't eject the tape. So yeah, this was like top of the line back in the day. Grip release. Oh, look at that. That whole thing comes out. Well, I'll be. Okay, so let's check this charger. It's got a light on it. Maybe that'll tell us. Let's see. Battery eject. Okay, so it's probably got to be. And what's cool about this is you got a mic in here, and then you got a DC output, so you could like power light and stuff. These things were really cool back in the day. Right now, battery eject. There we go. So let's stick this in here. It's charger. I don't see a light, but maybe a battery's got to be in it. Let's see. Oh, I seen a flight. Oh, it's doing something. Okay. See that orange light's on there. Hmm, so maybe it's charging. Approximately one hour. Let's see. The ACP88. What is this battery? The, uh, does it say? NICAD. 
so I don't know which one it would be. But... So, okay. Well, let's let that charge up for a couple minutes. Well, let's check this one see if something... See, I don't know why it does that. I, I, for, I got the book in there. I can read the book. There it is. Some kind of rubber band. And that's on. So it says charge. It's not blinking or anything. And it doesn't tell me battery charge adapter. That's all really it says. NP22 battery. Yeah, MP22. They're both an MP22. Um, okay, so let's let this charge for a little bit and see if we can get this thing working. Okay, guys, so I took this apart and I found the issue. There was a tape stuck in here. What happened was down inside of here, where'd I put the thing? I don't know if. see it but it's way up here anyway there's one on each side and this is the other one and that got lodged in there and I think somebody went ahead and jammed it so unfortunately this is not going to be able to be fixed because well you can't buy new parts for these things and I could get one as four parts for like 12 or 15 bucks but usually they say untested uh, you know they don't know if it works and whatnot you know it, it could be the same problem with this uh, it's a shame because it's, it's a cool camera it's a Sony but that was the whole problem got jammed in there it kept that tape from coming out of there so it kept everything from working so yeah, that's that's a bite. But try to save these old things, you know. I mean, it's got all the paperwork with it and the book. I mean, it's a book. It tells you how to how to film and you know how to line your shots up and everything. But yeah, so unfortunately, this one this one's um, you know I may save the lens, maybe do something with that later. I'm definitely want to save the charger and stuff. Who knows, I might find another one like it some, you know, in one of my travels, but... Oh, and this was the tape that was in it, so... As you can see, it was all messed up, and it was wrapped around there. So, my guess is, because it goes down like this, so it was over here wrapped around there. Somebody tried to pry it out or jammed it back down in or whatever, and that's why it got stuck. And if you do that, it jumps the gears in there and then it's out of time I could fix it if I had the right part it's just it's not worth it you know these cameras in working condition you know you're lucky to get 30 40 bucks out of them you know with everything <laughs> so <coughs> anyway I got some neat stuff you know for cameras a uh, couple cool batteries just neat things that I like to keep around. Like I said, I'll probably keep... I've got another one that I took apart. I'll probably... You know, I mean, I might keep the lens. Who knows? I'll probably just keep the whole thing for right now and just throw it in my stash. And you never know if I lose a screw taking something apart. But that was the problem right there. That's the whole deal why it won't work. So anyway, sorry we couldn't get this one working. I mean, once I got the tape out of there, I could turn it on and I could see stuff with it and everything and it would zoom and all that. But, you know, without that, it's it's really no good. So, <coughs> I mean, yeah, it's a shame. But at least we tried, right? So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Shea Bear, the Mental Man of Legend. I'm gone for now, guys. And, uh... Stay tuned for more fun stuff. And I've got all these tapes. This one, I'm pretty sure I can fix that one. 
I may do a video on how to fix that tape. <coughs> Find out what's on all these tapes, you know, there's like six or seven, I think, something like that. So anyway, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Enjoy the rest of your week. Bye-bye, guys, and take care.